Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 28th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Next Time. And our scripture reading is the Revelation of Jesus Christ, chapter 19, where the Apostle John writes, Then I saw heaven opened, and a white horse was standing there. Its rider was named Faithful and True, for he judges fairly and wages a righteous war. His eyes were like flames of fire, and on his head were many crowns. A name was written on him that no one understood except himself. He wore a robe dipped in blood, and his title was the Word of God. The armies of heaven, dressed in the finest of pure white linen, followed him on white horses. From his mouth came a sharp sword to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron rod. He will release the fierce wrath of God the Almighty, like juice flowing from a winepress. On his robe at his thigh was written this title, King of all kings and Lord of all lords. In the Christian calendar, this past Sunday was the celebration of Christ the King. It's a time to acknowledge with joy the sovereignty of our Lord. Jim Henry was the senior pastor of First Baptist Church in Orlando, Florida. He was also a friend and mentor who helped me get started in ministry. He tells of an incident from his youth. He was saved at Hopewell Baptist Church near Nashville, Tennessee. Just as he entered his teens, there was going to be a special service at Hopewell. Jim lived nearly 30 miles from the church by then. Wanting to attend, he convinced his mother to allow him and his cousin to hitchhike out to the service. As they were walking along, a big black Oldsmobile came down the road going in the same direction. Jim Henry stuck out a thumb. As the car got near, it began to screech to a halt, and Henry noticed a state trooper sitting behind the wheel. He was afraid the trooper was going to arrest him. The window rolled down. Where are you going, boys? he asked. Jim explained, and he and his cousin were invited to hop in. When he got in the back seat, there was another man in a suit. The man stuck out his hand and said, Hello, Jimmy. I'm Frank G. Clement, Governor of Tennessee. I'm going up to the Hopewell Church to speak, and I'll be glad to give you and your friend a lift. They took off, and the patrolman got them there in a flash, and when they pulled up, there was a welcoming crowd. The whole county was there. Who was the first one out? Jimmy Henry. He tipped his hand in the direction of Mr. Clement and said, Thanks for the ride, Governor, and God bless you. Old Jimmy Henry was somebody. The fact is, Jimmy Henry was next to somebody. He was still little 13-year-old Jimmy. Governor Clement was the somebody. Here's our question. Who is somebody to you? The last time Jesus came, he had a manger and farm animals for admirers. He told us plainly who he was, teacher and Lord. But he was still a nobody to us all because he was despised and rejected, according to Isaiah. The next time he comes. The next time Jesus comes, the only animal in sight will be the white horse underneath him, a stallion ridden by a victorious, conquering King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The next time he will not be a gentle baby with Mary singing lullabies in some feeding trough. He'll be a mighty warrior with an avenging righteousness. The next time he'll not wear a simple shepherd's robe. He'll have a garment dipped in blood with which he will cover, cleanse, and purge the entire earth. The next time he will not hold a shepherd's staff. He will have a conquering sword that will smash the world's systems into oblivion. The next time he will not pass out broken bread and grape juice. He will be marching on the grapes of wrath and squeezing every last drop of the fierceness of a holy God who has been scorned. The next time no one will put him on a cross. The next time he will hold up the cross and every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Amen. For you today, are you ready for the next time? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.